I'm John Tuller with the George B. Johnson Company, a partner of Daimler Chrysler that helps create experiences at auto shows like the North American International Auto Show. Behind me is the Jeep Waterfall, or the Jeep Rainfall, which was something that was introduced to the Jeep brand in 2000. We worked with Stephen Pevnik, a professor at the University of Wisconsin, that develops different water technologies for different applications in both the industrial world, along with studying water uh, at the university level. This rainfall is a 24-foot drop, approximately 54 feet wide, and houses almost 1,000 gallons of water that is recycled in a very interesting manner. There are over 3,000 valves that are programmed similar to an inkjet printer, where the image is scanned in, and then with that, there's a, there's a program that lets the water drop accordingly, whether it's the Jeep logo, whether it's a trail-rated logo, if it's an, if it's an image like a, like a bear claw, for instance, we use all kinds of images. The water trough houses nearly 1,000 gallons of water. And when it lands, it actually goes into a filtering system, and then it's actually pumped up on both of the columns, right to left, and then it goes into the system up, up the top where the water then is processed into where the, the 3,000 valves are waiting to take the program uh, for the particular image, and then it's dropped out again. We generally fill, oh, maybe 20 gallons in the morning. We lose a little bit of water, of course, to the, to the splash and to evap evaporation, but it really is fairly self-fulfilling. Other columns house the pumps and some of the other actuators. <clears throat> we have ladders inside the columns so we can go up and, and work on that particular system. The setup that probably takes four days uh, in terms of the actual installation and then probably another two days of programming and working through some of the other particulars of the, of the technology. This rainfall for Jeep, which uh, has, has been incredibly popular, has been seen in South Africa. We had it two months ago in Beijing at the, at the Beijing Motor Show. It's been in Frankfurt three times, Geneva three times. right year after year. People seem to think that um, at times maybe the, the audience would get tired of it, but we find that every year people come back to this. They're very attracted not only to the waterfall itself, but the whole environment. 